Hi everyone, Lena Moriarty here with this week's episode of WTF. Luckily, I barely had to write any jokes this week because our president is the biggest one of them all. To begin the segment, I would like to say my heart is with all who were present at the Las Vegas shooting on October 2nd. More than 400 are reported injured and more than 50 dead after a gunman unleashed fire during an outdoor Jason Aldean concert on the Las Vegas Strip. The gunman was later found dead with a self-inflicted gunshot wound in his hotel with at least 10 rifles. This is a horrible act of terrorism on United States soil. Gun violence is a serious issue. Thoughts and prayers are not enough. Do not tell me now is not the time for politics. We cannot wait for something like this to happen again. We've had Columbine, Sandy Hook, Virginia Tech, Pulse, and so many more, and now this? It happens again, and again, and again, and there is one common denominator in each and every single shooting, and that is the gun. You need guns to kill people, and America provides them. We need to stand up to the NRA. Gun control is necessary. Our thoughts and prayers are with all those who are affected. In other recent news, Trump has lashed out at San Juan Mayor Carmen Yulín Cruz, this comes after she criticized White House relief efforts, or lack thereof, after the devastating Hurricane Maria. It has been almost three weeks and the island is still without power and minimal food and water resources. In a string of tweets, Trump condemned Cruz for being told by Democrats that she must be nasty to him and that she had poor leadership abilities. He also attributed the ferocity of the destruction to the fact that Puerto Rico is an island surrounded by big water, ocean water. Thank you for defining an island. Puerto Rico is saved now. No, that isn't how it works. Literal cruise ships came to Puerto Rico's aid before our president, canceling vacations to bring much needed supplies. His Twitter responses came after Cruz said, if anybody is out there listening, we are dying and you are killing us with inefficiency. It's embarrassing that our president feels personally attacked when a city's leader is just sending a cry for help for her people. This same mayor who was photographed wading through flood water searching for people in distress. He tweeted this all while attending a golf tournament at a country club where it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to join. This is a very real issue. We have a president who keeps continuing this dialogue of criticizing whoever questions his capabilities. A president who has the audacity to take to social media blaming Puerto Rico's devastation on an already crippled economic state while praising Texas and Florida relief efforts? What a joke. Adding on to Jared Kushner's private email use is his beloved wife and not criminal, Ivanka Trump. Miss Trump, the first daughter and ex-Nordstrom brand seller, has been using her own private email as well for personal business. While she was not a White House employee at the time, she was still aware of the regulations regarding this, aka is she dumb or is she dumb? Does having a private email server sound like a familiar offense that you've heard of in the past? Maybe because that Donald Trump's basis of criticism for his former presidential opponent, Hillary Clinton, commented calling it the height of hypocrisy because, well, this is highly hypocritical. In world news, Catalonia voted in favor of the referendum that would give them their independence from Spain. Many Catalans lined up at ballots to vote to become a separate nation only to be met with severe violence by police, raiding voter stations and seizing ballots. The central government in Madrid sent down these riot police to disrupt the voting. The vote, however, was later deemed illegal by the Spanish government. Only 42% of the Catalan population showed up to vote because of police intimidation yet another demonstration of pure abuse of power. People took to the streets to protest the denial of the vote, only to be met with rubber bullets and batons. In one case, a local fireman formed a line to protect the protesters, which resulted with them being beaten by the police as well. And that's it for today's updates. Before we finish up, there is one piece of news I'd like to share with you all. According to multiple sources, a CBS executive was fired for a Facebook post about not being sympathetic for the victims of the massacre. This was because she believed a majority of them were Republican gun toters. We, as people, cannot let the current political state divide us. These people were human, just like me and you, enjoying the purest of experiences by finding joy in music. We must be there for one another, despite political affiliations and personal opinions. People are people. Now we must work together to ensure something like this never happens again. Our thoughts continue to be with the victims of the massacre.